Charizard, what about me? I am heading to Perth, Australia here from London via Bangkok. And uh, my dumbass started off this trip on a tremendous fashion by forgetting to do my Australian ETA, which is to get your visa. Um, I do it every year for OCIC and like I usually make a huge deal out of it because it's OCIC and blah, blah, yada yada. But I just kind of like forgot that I have to do that and I got to the airport and I'm like, why won't I let me check in? And they're like, did you do your visa? And I was like, oh, do you think I can do that in the next five minutes? Because my flight is in two and a half hours. And they were like, see what happens. And, and I applied and it came back in like 40 seconds and that really worked out in my favor. So we are uh, good to go now. But then we have an 11 hour flight to Bangkok, a two and a half hour layover and then a nine hour flight again to Sydney, where I'll be seeing a friend and hanging out for a couple of days, uh, do some tourism maybe, and then we are off to Perth. I have landed in Bangkok. Uh, it was a very quick, not quick, it was 11 hours, but I slept the rest of it. So I should be good on this flight to stay awake, watch some anime and shows. This one might be a little bit longer, nine hour flight. Heading to my connection now, uh, 20 hours of flying in a day is pretty ridiculous, but, um, I did this to myself, so yeah, let's see how it goes. After 20 hours of flying, I have checked into my hotel here at the Moxie. Nice little quaint room. I'm here for two nights in Sydney. Um, unpacked all my stuff already. Got my Baja Blast, you know, so it feels like home. Little quaint, little quaint little room. Um, I'm here for two nights and then I'm off to Perth. Um, we are, we have a decent view of the city. I think there's a KFC right there. And McDonald's. I think the KFC was lit up until like two minutes ago. Oh, nope, that's just something else happening. But um, yeah, I'm here. 20 hours was kind of, not that bad, honestly. I, I know people say that like long flights are grueling, but I unironically slept for most of both flights which is kind of bad because now I'm super wide awake and that's not like a good thing in this point in time. So, yeah. brought me here to Lacau. He's not coming to regionals this weekend, but you may know him from being good at Pokemon. But uh, he's taking me out on a night in Sydney. So we're having some cake, ice cream thing. There's a bunch of people running. Interesting. The last couple hours in Sydney. Um, wish I had a little bit more time here. I had a good night last night, just walking around the downtown area, checking out the harbor. It's beautiful here. Weather is gorgeous. I'm heading into the city because I picked up a phone case uh, from Casetify because they look pretty sick and I wanted to buy the One Piece one. So walking to the train station, taking that in, I'm grabbing that. And then I'm coming right back here in like two hours, grabbing my stuff, catching a flight to the airport. And then we're going to Perth, six hour flight. Pretty long one, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna play some Pokemon. And then I have regionals in about a day, which is kind of ridiculous to think about. Lego store here. I just came out of the case to five store, picked up my new case, went to the Lego store for a little bit, see what's popping on in there. Got time to kill. Whole harbor. This is sick. I'm grabbing some lunch, got some Din Tai Fung soup, uh, noodles, not noodles, uh, dumplings. There's some more dumplings in here. I'm very excited. We're gonna eat some lunch and then head to the airport. We have one flight to Perth here. It's gonna take six hours to get there. Um, it turns out that when I changed all my flights, there was a little bit of an issue and United never canceled my Virgin Australia leg from uh, Indonesia to Perth, or sorry, to Sydney. So the system thinks I'm still in Indonesia because I never boarded there. So that's it, I had to go talk to an agent and they got it sorted out pretty uh, fast, thankfully, but it wouldn't let me check in. I was like, what's the issue? And they got here and they explained that. And I was like, oh, very good. I just, I'm not still on a flight from Indonesia to Sydney. I'm already here. And the guy was like, yeah, I can see that. So apparently I have three tickets in the back end, but I should only have one, which is a problem. But hopefully that's not a problem on my return flight home. But yeah, we're gonna have a six hour flight here and then we're gonna to Perth and we can go play some Pokemon.
Thank you. It's a staircase in the fucking. This, oh, guy, yeah, this guy looks more and more homeless every vlog. Yeah. And what will he find a home? Dude, I'll find a home. Dude, <laughs> I just sit there. I don't think you want to, like in the. I just sat there doing nothing for like six fucking times. I just spectated until my final threw. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> Going grocery shopping with the lads. Some sushi. Gotta go find some energy drinks. Yo, pizza? Is up? <laughs> What's this guy's issue? Yeah. Pizza. Hello, Brent. Hello. <laughs> you said, Where's the vlog? And then you're gonna talk like this. Hello, Rahul Reddy from USA. <laughs> Oh, from hello, India, from India. Hello, right. Brent Tonneson from uh, the motherland that we're in right now. <laughs> the motherland? What do you I, mean? I get here and I'm like, yo, Brent, you've been in my country so many times. Take me around. He's like, I don't know, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hi, what's your No, things go bad. I've got to back up. These guys are like, this is normal. This guy's been to America too. This is crazy. Okay. Just a back room. Wait, I'll watch break for an hour. What do you want to do? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, just say, say what you said earlier. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's probably me and I saw like two years ago. Like a year ago. <laughs> we have an hour lunch break now. Max is for uh, Max just be mean. <laughs> say a record, man. Why are you so bad at being on camera? I'm 301. There we go. Good job. I'm proud of you. Max, how are we doing? I'm doing very well. 404. See? He knows how to be on camera. What did you learn? Right. Yeah. I'm on camera right now. I'm the worldwide. 6 1. I'll be advancing at the very least to get to Perth. Um, looks like I can get some more match points, do something to beat It's a small tournament. I need to get to 10 wins. So let's make the rest of these rounds count a little bit. I'm at table one. I might not be here for long. <laughs> Sup? Oh, and you're like, are you 03 against me lifetime? Just shut up! What the, <laughs> fuck? the mad dash to standings. Everyone's just. I don't really. I'm just walking. Roll, I think. What are you talking about? Sorry, who's the other? The uncle's in dark. The uncle's in dark. Wait, do you have an invite now? Right. <laughs> Carnage. You can't bring the fucking box to solve that one, Brad. Hey, yeah. Not bad attitude. His match point numbers. <laughs> Brent's just at the top table matching, beating everyone. I'm like, I'm currently like plus six match points on like everyone, or seven or eight. Yeah. 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 And then, are you trying to figure out who you're playing? Guaranteed. Jet's currently playing. No, we're trying to figure out what the cutoff is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People need to figure out if they can ID into 29. Yeah, yeah. 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 we want to figure out if we can. Who, how many people are making on 29? And if. I don't know. I don't know how to play the matchup. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what's in his deck. I don't, I don't say, well, he plays the 60 HP ones because they're cuter and he has yeah. the full arts. <laughs> Wait, oh no, Four people on top here. And that bubbled, so we're cooking. Oh, I can't do top eight's gonna go up soon. <laughs> See if I can win. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what's up? Hello. Hey. Hey, Rowan. What'd you do, Tim? Uh, I lost the top eight. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, we lost in top eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, we lost in top eight. Good, yeah. good run. Good run. How does losing in top eight? I had losing in top eight. <laughs> hey, Julian lost in day two though. Came that's, thirty seconds. That's true. I'm proud of my achievement. But you got a thousand dollars. Yeah, I got a ride. That's pretty good. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, he's doing, he's doing something. He's doing something. What happened to you? My pigeons didn't show up in game three. <laughs> it's very empty now. Only finals are going on. Wrapping up. Vibing. Those are people playing. He's clean. Brenty Mon. Brenty. The gang. He's won Malaysia as well. 
<laughs> Both of us want a Malay. Oh. <laughs> 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 Maybe just do it like that. Brent, do some narration. What's going on here? Oh, uh, maybe he's like yet another deck with spider. It's like a fucking metal, dude. Where's the metal? Wait, Kyle's brother. Where is he? It's on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. Bro just caused irreparable damage to his cards with that metal. Yeah, pretty much. You have to, you have to, oh, well, like, yeah. No, 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 I'm just leaving it all to Boris, man. The behind the scenes of the deckless photo, everyone, you know, everyone's here. Yeah, there you go. Kylan's a disbelief. Tournament's officially wrapped up, basically. I'm in a hotel room for one night while I figure out what to do in Perth. This is crazy, actually. Oh my god, there's, there's a shower, okay. All right. What is going on in this hotel room? This is wonderful. I have a big room to myself for the night. Everyone else has already left Perth. I am alone. And, yeah. Tournament vlog comes to an end. The list was pretty insane. I was gonna put Andrew Box, but I got talked into the deck because I kind of helped with the creation of the text and everything that came to be. Um, the group was just like, hey, we're all just like, what are you doing? Just play the deck. It's like, it's just, it's a good deck, like blah, blah, blah. And so I shifted to it at like 7.15 in the morning because I just felt like maybe I just play, maybe I use my brain, everything went well. Made top eight. I got super unlucky, I think, to lose top eight. I genuinely don't feel like I got outplayed at all this tournament, which is a crazy thing to say. It's crazy ego, but trust me. Um, the deck was insane. Uh, my losses were unfortunate. I did get lucky in a couple wins, I will say that too. Uh, and I genuinely like love the Aussie guys. Like Everyone was amazing. Uh, Nat, Kaiwin, Brent, Max, Robbie, they were all super welcoming, took care of me. Uh, I, will, I would love to come back here uh, as much as possible. I love Australia, I love the guys, and uh, thanks for having me, guys.